found this blog created by Canva. It has 50 modern fonts to download for any type of work, including contemporary look. It has the most stunning looking fonts that I would like to use for an ES logo design that on our comment section, somebody asked me to create. And I think fonts really bring a different type of perspective when you are designing logos. For example, this Lombok font that is actually number one. It is stunning looking different and it catches the eye. So if you were interested in this font and you wanted to download it, you're going to scroll down and click where it says download at the font. The blogger, read Rebecca Gross, she has added a link on how you can upload any font on Canva and then you're able to use it for your design. So you can click over here. I'll link this blog on the description below. I found two that I want us to use. So the first one that I found is called Parley. It's number 15 and it's Parley typeface. It's beautiful font. So you're going to scroll down and click where it is downloaded at the Hungry JPEG. Once you open where the blogger is redirecting you to go download the font from, you just need to find out and make sure that it is a free font and you are able to use it for commercial purposes and you will be able to look and see all of the information that would be written where you download the font. See, the license is complete license, which you could click and go and have a look and see what are the limitations and how can you use this font based on the person that has created to show you they don't allow you on what what etc you just going to need to find out if you're comfortable and you're happy you're going to click where it says download and then it's going to download it as a zipped file when you have a look at the type of file it's a ttf and when you move over to Canva to upload the font, you, this is the type of file that Canva accepts as a font upload. So you just need to make sure that you've downloaded the file and you've saved it somewhere on your desktop. If it's a zipped file, you need to extract it. So you're going to right click on and you're going to go find extract it all. If you're using a Mac, you can then open it with that green file. And you can click on extract it all it's going to ask you where do you want to leave it you put in where you want to leave it I, I want to leave it at my desk so i'm going to extract it finish and then there's going to be a file that you're able to open that is on your desktop or wherever you've saved it and it would be the pali bold and the pali regular so these are the tff files that I can upload on Canva. So next you're going to go to Canva and you're going to open your Canva and from your home page, you're going to select brand. This is a pro account feature. So you're going to select brand and you're going to select brand kits. And with your brand kits, you're going to scroll down to go find the brand kit. My brand kit is off Learn with Zah. So I'm going to select Learn with Zah. And then it opens all the information that I have for Learn with Zah, the brand kit of Learn with Zah. You're going to scroll down until you find fonts. With the fonts that we found over here, we want to manage uploaded fonts and add new. So we could either add it this way or we could on fonts and just click on add new and then you go upload a font and you get to click on add new. So we have this font that we have downloaded that we want to add. You're going to go find it on your desktop and then you're going to select the, the TTF file and you're going to select it and then you click open and then Canva wants to know that you have a right to use the font and then you say upload away and then it gets uploaded on Canva. Once you've uploaded your fonts, you can open a canvas and start designing. You're going to press T for text and you're going to make it nice and big because these are just letters, ES, no funny what what. So you just control A and type your ES in capital letters 
and make that big. And now we want to go find these fonts that we've uploaded. Then we're going to click where it says bright or where the fonts are found. And you're going to scroll to go find the uploaded fonts. And we just uploaded two fonts, the Parley Bold. And it looks like that. I think it looks stunning. Nice and easy, quick, beautiful. You can go be a designer all you want, as much as you want, and do as you please. So the other one that we've created or the other one that we've added on our uploaded fonts was the the hyped. So let's add the hyped. Ah, oh, it looks sick as the kids would say. Doesn't it look sick? My kids would say, oh, mommy, you are embarrassing us. You can go to your style and you can just go and look for maybe not combinations because we don't want to change the font. We just want to change the color palette. So you're going to just play around with it until you find the one that works for you. And it looks stunning. I love it. Then you can decide if you would like to write a tagline and then you have beautiful designs that you have come up with. Another cool font that I really like is the Shiba. So let me show you how that one looks like. Since I'm trying to give you fonts idea and you can go absolutely bananas. Since this is our beautiful Pali, we're going to change this one is within Canva and you can just search for Shiba. This is the font that you could also, you know, play around with, decide and make it your own. You know, I really, truly, truly love my photo piece. So we're gonna pick one. Let's go with this sick, sick one that I love and convert this to a 3D. So we're gonna make the background white going to leave it as red and we're going to go share download and we're going to use our transparent background and we just want number two we'll convert the others same process that you follow and once it has downloaded with the transparent background you're going to go to your photo p.com and you're going to select templates and you pick a beautiful template that's going to make and enhance your work to the next level this is the one that i actually like these days i don't know why anyway you click on it to open it and you open in the link and then it opens the template and the canvas and then once it has loaded you double click where it says your logo here on the checkout box and then you hide the example we go to our designs and downloads we drag the es photo design and we make it nice and big as the designer showed us then we're going to press ctrl s or command s if you're using a mac and then you would click on the first tab to have your gorgeous looking logo design let me know in the comments below if you like let me know if you don't like then i'll stop making these videos if they don't add value to your life. Thank you so much for joining me. You can head over to our shapes, design logos and have lots of fun and have creativity galore. Thank you for joining me. I will see you with our next video.